Hey YouTube, Ham here, back from vacation in Los Angeles here in Richmond, Virginia. And a lot of cool stuff waiting for me when I got home. It's really hard leaving the girlfriend and everything out there in La La Land, but it always helps when you come back home if there's all kinds of little boxes waiting on the front porch. And they were waiting on the front porch. And it's been raining here. <sighs> it's so hard to find good help. Anyway. Let's show you something that's really cool. I did a little video for Farmer Diddly about this before, and now I want to do the full one on it. This is the Gerber Epic. It's uh, a release they did back in 2010. This and the Basic, which is very similar, except it's a regular drop point, uh, whereas this is a modified drop point. We'll have it out in a minute. Sheaths are the same. Basic design is the same, except the Basic ends right about here. There's a number of good reviews on the base if you want to check it out. But uh, the cool thing about this, like I told Farmer Diddley, you get a knife that also has a bottle opener. How cool is that? It's everything a guy needs in the field. Cut your meat, open your beer, sit back, and the world will come to you. <laughs> How about this? This is actually a fairly good thing that you've seen the size of my hands before, okay? These are not small paws. So any knife that's going to be working for me is going to have to be a little bit sturdier than some of the small knives I know a lot of you like. So I tend, in a you know, carry flick, fixed blade, I tend to look for something that's going to be more versatile. And this, I think, is a really good candidate for backpacking, hiking, and even especially if you're going to be out on the water because of the tip. You can see it's a modified drop, blade, drop point. Uh, it's got Gerber's version of G10. That's not a G10 handle. It's their molded grip nylon stuff, which isn't bad. I mean, it's a very controllable knife. You can definitely keep a grip on it. Good wide tip jimping there on the top of the blade, so you've got good positive control on it. And even though it's a little short for a paw my size, with the addition of the extended length with the bottle opener, it actually holds pretty well in the hand. You can definitely get some force on the blade and do what you need to do. It is a composite blade. You've got your straight edge and fairly moderate serrated edge. It's not uh, the greatest in the world, but it will help cut through some lines. Like I said, this might not be a bad boat knife, especially if you do anything on the water. It's, it's a good handy one to hand around. The thing I have to get used to is the sheath. Now this is not Kydex, it's their version of it. It's uh, basically a hard plastic and the knife does fit very well in it. Clicks right in. Uh, my only problem with the sheath is this, the clip. Now, having said that, I will make the comment that I can see where this is supposed to be carried in a pocket, and this will loop over the top of your pocket so that the blade is coming out. But I'll tell you, this clip is weak. It will not hold the sheath in the pocket. If you pull the knife, you're pulling the sheath. So, in any type of quick response situation, if you were going to use it in a defensive posture, if you needed it quickly to cut a rope or something, what you've got to do is you've got to pull the knife and then pull the sheath. Now, that may not be much of a hassle, and hopefully you'll never get in a situation where you need to do it that fast, but then you're stuck with the sheath. You can throw it away or put it away or whatever, but you're kind of left holding the sheath. So. It, uh, it does have its limitations, but it will stay on if you clip it to something. I've, I've actually done the upside down shake test, and it does get right to the edge, but it, it, uh, it seems to be holding fairly well. I haven't really done an EDC with it yet, but that's something we'll get to in a minute. But other than that, the knife is typical Gerber, full tang. It is a very solid knife. You open it, by the way. It has the pressure lock on the inside to release it. You put your thumb against that ridge right there, and it releases it from the sheath. Otherwise, the knife is very, very sturdily inside, snug inside that sheath. It's not going to move. The other good thing, too, for being an outdoor knife is the fact that it has two lanyard holes in the middle. Those are just pass-throughs. Very handy if you want to lash it to something, use it as a spear tip, 
uh, whatever else you need to do, you need to put it on a, on a little longer handle for whatever you're doing. Uh, it lends itself to that very, very easily. But uh, other than that, it's the carbon steel blade with the satin finish that Gerber has been so fond of with a lot of their newer releases. And it goes for about 30 bucks. Got it off of eBay. Now, the good thing too is you can change this clip to go on either side. If you unscrew and lift off the nameplate, you'll find another set of holes there. And there's actually four holes, two wide and two narrow. You can use a combination of any of the holes to move the clip up and down height-wise on the sheath. So you can adjust it to your particular need. But uh, anyway, like I said, a knife, a bottle opener. And does the bottle opener work? Hell yes it does. Sorry about the beer, but that's all they left me. I'm telling you, i got to put a lock on the refrigerator before I leave. But anyway, cheers YouTube. That's the review of the Gerber Epic. We'll see you later.